Hello everybody, this is Soka once again. Um I am here to talk about a situation that has gone that is currently going on with my family in Virginia Beach. My sister in law and youngest nephew of eleven months are currently visiting Virginia Beach for vacation. While having a temporary stay at the Motel 6 in Virginia Beach, my nephew discovered uh, drug paraphernalia. There were also other things on the property that were just beyond unsanitary, unsafe, and just unkept. The property is disgusting, as you will see in the pictures that I will insert throughout this video. The situation that happened, which if you want to see the full story on it, I will post a link below to the actual news story that was done by Wavy10 on your side. While staying at the hotel, which they were supposed to stay a couple days at the Motel 6 in Virginia Beach, my nephew was playing on the floor in the hotel room and discovered an item from under the bed. What was under the bed happened to be a spoon which had cocaine remnants on it. It is believed that my nephew put this in his mouth and and possibly ingested some of the remnants on the spoon. My nephew of 11 months was then rushed to the hospital and is now okay he's fine uh, thank God now if that was not enough not only did the hotel not properly respond what they thought was okay to do was to give a one night free for risking the life of my 11 year old nephew I don't believe that any of you would accept a free night in a motel for the life of your child, cousin, nephew, niece, grandson. The fact that Motel 6 thought that this was okay is extremely unacceptable. Now, you would think it would stop there. No. After they got back from the hospital and went back to the hotel that they were booked at because they're from out of town, they're visiting from California, they were moved to another room, which is the obvious uh, solution, immediate solution. In the other room, I'm told that there was an extreme smell uh, in the room. When asking, when checking the room to see what the smell was, there was animal feces found within the room in multiple places. The front desk attendant was contacted and came into the room. When the front desk assistant came into the room, they stated that they couldn't smell anything, they didn't know what uh, my family was talking about. And when one of them went to go show her where the cat feces was, lifting up a mattress in the room, uh, a crack pipe fell from the bed. Mind you, this is the second room that they'd been moved to on this property. In the first room, my 11 month year old nephew found a spoon burned on the bottom with crack 
residue, cocaine residue in the spoon. At 11 months old, he's teething, which is obvious. And as you know, babies will pretty much put anything in their mouths. Now, normally I would say it's the parent's responsibility to make sure that the child is not doing such things or to make sure that such things uh, as spoons filled with cocaine are not in their uh, reach. But when you are a parent and you are staying at an established hotel chain, Motel 6, you would expect that such items would not be in the hotel where you will have your 11-month-old child who is not seen the first year of his life. And God forbid, my nephew could now be dead. Thank God he isn't. But Lord knows what long-term ailments he could have based on this. And God forbid there any. But what responsibility is Motel 6 taking for that? My sister-in-law had not been contacted by any of the upper management of the hotel, the general manager had not contacted her at all, even after, mind you, the news was not called until after the second situation. They didn't report the first situation as a major issue, even though it was, they didn't report it as a major issue. But when it went to the, when you go to the second room and that then you find a crack pipe, obviously this is a major, major situation. and. What is a hotel chain? What are you putting out there as a brand that you are a crack den? Who is checking these properties? Because not only on the property do we obviously have frequent crackheads and drug addicts, there are safety violations, environmental violations, biohazards, and so forth, as you will see in the pictures following and inserted in this video. What is Motel 6 doing to keep its people safe? Who's to say that this hasn't happened multiple times? There is petrified cat feces or animal feces in the room around the property. There are broken fire extinguishers. There's broken and exposed wires, glass. Where is this acceptable? Who is in charge of cleaning that these items were left there because obviously if someone had cleaned that room they would have found that spoon it was on the under the edge of the bed an 11 month old is but so big if they're not if they're reaching under a bed if you had vacuumed properly that spoon would have been pushed further under the bed to where he wouldn't have been able to get it or you would have noticed it and taken it out to have a crack pipe inserted in the sheets or in between the mattresses of a hotel bed shows that no one changed the sheets because as you'll see in the video when you check the link below the bed was lifted and a crack pipe fell out what kind of standards are you setting Motel 6 where are you showing that you care about the safety of the people that come to your establishment and who's to say that this isn't something that's happening all around the nation? That this isn't just Virginia Beach Motel 6. This could be New Jersey Motel 6, California Motel 6, Kentucky Motel 6. What are you doing to keep your patrons safe? My nephew could now have long-term brain damage ailments and all other type of issues due to this situation. God forbid that happens, but it's possible. What responsibility are you taking? I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I would like for you guys to definitely please go below and click on the link and see the video of the feed from the hotel. And you will see an employee not caring. You will see uh, a dilapidated motel. 
and you will see multiple other disturbing things. I will also add some pictures after this that you will be able to look at and see the state that this motel is in. Please comment below uh, if you have a Motel 6 near you. I suggest you don't stay at it. Uh, once again, comment below, share this video, go to the link below and share that video because this needs to be everywhere. We need to know what's going on. Much love.